Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Queen B. And today we're just waiting for the announcement of the premiere here in Victoria. As you know, uh, here in Australia, Victoria is the only one that is on stage four. So we're just waiting for the premiere to announce um, what's gonna happen, what's the plan, is they're gonna um, extend the restriction. Sorry, the telly is too loud. So I'm just gonna put it down a little bit. Yeah, so we're just waiting. Uh, we just came back from walk. Um, that's still be. So yeah, um, we're just waiting for the announcement um, today. So hopefully restrictions will be lifted as all, everyone wants to be. Um, have a good um, announcement today. We're waiting. So hopefully, because it's springtime here in Melbourne, as you can see, there starts blooming all the flowers and everything. So, uh, I have to do. <laughs> I, have, I have to make some pipe at the damit. See, mm. that's my laundry. So yeah, so we're just waiting for the announcement. So hopefully they'll do it um, before midday. Okay, ciao. This job, uh, the great honor that I have to lead our state every day is filled with decisions that are really, really difficult. Some of them are difficult because they're a genuine 50-50 choice. You're not quite certain which option to choose. Others are difficult because you know what the consequences of those decisions will be. Some of them are indeed heartbreaking. This is not a 50-50 choice. The modelling that Alan will speak to in a moment indicates that if we open up too fast, then we have a very high likelihood, a very high likelihood that we're not really opening up at all. We're just beginning a third wave and we will be back in and out of restrictions, in and out of lockdown before the end of the year. Indeed, potentially well before the end of the year. We can't run out of lockdown. We have to take steady and safe steps out of, long, out of lockdown to find that COVID normal. We must take steady and safe steps to find COVID normal and make sure that in opening up, we can stay open. Not a situation where we are unable to begin the task of economic repair, unable to begin the enormous task. From 11.59 p.m. on the 13th of September, uh, we will uh, have to extend We'll have to extend out for two weeks uh, the current stage four uh, current stage four restrictions that Victorians are living under. This is for Metro Melbourne. I'll do regional Victoria in just one moment. So we have to extend. We cannot open up at this time. If we were, then we would lose control very, very quickly. And again, Alan will speak to that in more detail. So, however, there are some changes to that two week extension of stage four. Let me run through those now. So from uh, next Sunday. The curfew will be eased and it will be expanded to 9pm, not 8pm, in recognition that the days are getting longer. That is a small step, but one that we can safely take. Exercising will be increased to two hours per day, up from the one hour per day. Uh, social bubbles to uh, accommodate those who live on their own in direct response to feedback we've had from those who have been isolated away from anyone else for a long period of time we will create those social bubbles so that much like the way intimate partner arrangements work now, uh, singles, those who live alone, will be able to partner up with somebody else and they'll be able to visit each other. The five kilometre rule will not apply, but the curfew will. Uh, so it is essentially extending those arrangements for partners who don't live in the same household to those who live, uh, live uh, on their own. Public outdoor gatherings of two people will be allowed uh, or a household for up to two hours, not the uh, one hour of exercise. So it's exercise and or spending time outside, whether it be visiting the park, so on and so forth. And playgrounds will reopen. That is for the two week period uh, until the 28th of September. That's the first step. The second step from the 28th of September, subject to public health advice and subject to the average daily cases, being between 30 and 50, 
at that point, uh, 14 days before. Public gatherings increased to up to five people from two households. Schools, uh, there will be a stage return of school for prep, grade one, grade two. VCE and VCAL, as well as specialist schools for term four. Uh, some senior students, senior students will be back from the 5th of October for their uh, GAT test. Uh, but from the 12th, the following week, uh, we will have prep grade one, grade two, year 11 and 12 and year 10s for the purposes of their VCAL or VCE studies, back as well as specialist schools. Childcare reopens. Uh, more workplaces open, uh, in fact around 101,000 workers who are currently unable to attend work will be able to attend work in a number of different industries and you have a breakdown of those, those different industries and the, the way in which we have arrived at those industries being able to resume is a very difficult set of judgments that weigh up the public health risk and the economic benefit. Uh, we believe we've struck a balance. It is not a perfect balance. There is no such thing. Uh, and I know there will be some industries who are disappointed that they're not on that list, but whenever you draw a line, there will always be different groups on either side of it. We can't, again, as I've said a number of times, and we'll continue to say uh, for weeks and months to come, this has got to be done in a safe and steady way. And that is a significant number of people who are not at work now, they're not permitted to be at work. I'll uh, just have slides, thank you. Um, so I'll just have the, the next one, thanks. So many countries are struggling with control. Some uh, countries haven't finished their first waves. Uh, most others that did achieve early control are now seeing second waves. We may not have seen um, uh, daily numbers in the thousands, like um, in France and in Spain at the moment, thanks to all the sacrifices that Victorians have made, but it does show how tenuous control can be. The case numbers may be coming down, but it's likely that there are still too many cases in mid-September to open up significantly. ...steps look like. Uh, so given that acknowledging that there are lower case numbers in regional Victoria, and regional Victoria is, is essentially a step ahead of metropolitan Melbourne, uh, from 11.59pm on the 13th of September, so next Sunday in effect, public gatherings up to five people, uh, from uh, a maximum of uh, two house households can meet. Uh, uh, let me let me apologise. The uh, regional Victoria essentially uh, has completely different settings um, as it stands now. They essentially move to step two, uh, and then we will reassess uh, based on uh, total numbers over a 14-day period. We think that regional Victoria will essentially be able to move to the third step uh, quite soon. Uh, it'll be perhaps a matter of weeks uh, before regional Victoria can move to uh, a, a very different uh, range of settings uh, compared to uh, metropolitan Melbourne. That would mean uh, more shops open, more people back at work, uh, people still working from home in some instances, but uh, relatively normal, certainly compared to the situation that Metropolitan Melbourne will have to be in for a longer period of time. Uh, let me find the exact note and I'll go through any further details if you have questions, but all that information is available. Essentially, uh, we will be able to move uh, a step ahead. Hi guys, so they've just announced um, that we're going to have an extended stage 4 lockdown for another two weeks. So that starts from September 13 at 11.59pm um, till 28th of September. Then from 28th of September, um, um, they're going to have another um, lifted for the restriction. So hopefully the numbers will go down, the infection will go down. Um, so that's that's basically it is. So we're extend for another two weeks for stage four.
um, but within the two weeks um, the car fee will be until nine o'clock and then you're allowed to exercise for two hours so those are the um, a little bit um, easing of the um, stage four lockdown so but um, regional Victoria is different so um, I'll get to you one by one and we are gonna be detailed um, what's um, what's gonna be happening for metropolitan Melbourne and regional Victoria lumipat lang kaya kami sa regional Victoria di ba I just wish we can just you know um, move to regional Victoria because it's they have an easing but yeah so I had my test so I'm negative so um, I don't know hi guys they're still live for the breaking news of the extension of um, Melbourne lockdown stage 4 so they've just been I don't know going on and on and on about that so what what can you say like uh, busy siya ewan ko sa kanya kay Toby na lang Toby what are you gonna do with another two weeks of lockdown hmm? so um, I think it's been sayo yung ganun kasi nga hindi naman pwedeng i-lift agad yung yung restrictions, yung lockdown. Kasi nga, may mga cases pa rin. Malaki pa rin yung case. Yung mataas pa rin yung case natin. Kung makapagsalta naman siya, kala mo expert siya. Charot. Anyway, yeah. So, um, it extended for another two weeks. And actually, all the chief health officer, um, the premier, they're just asking questions from the, um, from the media and everything. So, yeah what can you do you just have to follow or else you're gonna be fine mahal pa naman yung fine buti sana kung you're just fine charot okay guys so that's the update for melbourne unfortunately oh my god that's the oh, birds outside unfortunately we're um we're extended for another two weeks of stage four but the car fee is lifted from from eight o'clock to nine o'clock and the exercise from one hour it, it extended for another hour so you can exercise for two hours now from september 30 uh, 14 to 28 okay it's a beautiful day it's springtime here in melbourne pasensya na maraming labahin but um it's a beautiful day it's um spring so yeah i just can't wait for this virus to go away but yeah we'll just have to live with it so that's all guys thank you and stay tuned for more videos bye bye